Hey guys, welcome back. So this video, I wanna show you guys how to download a virtual machine from VulnHub. And what I decided to go with was DC1. I checked in my VulnHub walkthroughs and I haven't done this one. And it's supposedly an easy one, so we'll see. But if you guys are new to the channel, like always, like, subscribe, share. And if you're returning, welcome back and let's have some fun. So. I want to walk you guys through. I want to put the description, uh, you know, the link in the description below, or you can just go to VulnHub and put DC1. So let's make this a little bigger. So let me make sure. All right, so you guys can see. So now, if you see like uh, about release, so it's in 2019. This was released, right? So pretty pretty much what it says please remember that you know all this is a free community open source all that stuff so all these all these cool people put together these vulnerable machines put it up here for us to learn right so description the purpose of all of these boxes are vulnerable so so pretty much it's it's to build a vulnerable lab for the purpose of gaining experience in the real world penetration testing right so Let's see some main stuff, the technical information. So this is pretty important. So it's a, it's a virtual box VM built in Debian 32 bit. So pretty much they haven't tested it on VMware. So if you guys are using VMware, you know, good luck. Uh, I'm using virtual box. So this is pretty much what I'm going to be using. So if you are following along in each video, step by step, I hope you guys, you know, followed along using virtual box. So it says it's currently configured as bridge networking. However, you can change it to suit your network. Pretty much we have, or I have that NATA network, which is InfoSec PAT, right? On a 10.0.200 network. So I will have to change this to that network in order for those two to communicate, my Kali box in this machine, okay? So the installation, like it says, it's pretty simple. It's pretty much download it, unzip it, and then import it to uh, VirtualBox, pretty much the same process that we did with Metasploitable, okay? So, you know, if you wanna, if you have any questions, contact DCAU7 on Twitter, and kudos, thank you so much for making this, and uh, let's go ahead and download it, right? So we can go to, let's go to the download, let's go all the way up, and where is the download? Oh, right here. So let's go ahead and download this. Uh, download. Is it downloading or what? A mirror? It's not a mirror. Okay. So it's a super, super small file. I think that says, yeah, it's less than a gig. So once this is downloaded, we'll walk through getting this up. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do any pen testing on this box yet. We'll do that in the following video. And I'll probably do that tomorrow because I'm super tired. And you probably can see, like, literally, I did all these seven videos in one night. So the hacking, I'm probably going to have to put a, put a thinking cap on and actually think. So I'm not really up for that tonight. So sorry, folks. You have to wait one more day. But, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and open show and folder. We can X out of here because I'm probably gonna shut everything down after. Just wanna make sure everything is working. So let's go back here. What I wanna do is I'm going to unzip this. So let's go ahead and extract all. That's just fine because I wanna move it into my hacking labs folder anyway. So let that do its thing and give it a moment. All right, so now what I wanna do, let's go back, I wanna make sure I'm in the right folder. Okay, all right, so what I'm gonna do is copy this. Copy this and go to documents, hacking, and I wanna throw it right here. All right, so now let's go ahead and open up VirtualBox. I wanna leave my Kali just to make sure it, it's working, it gets an IP address and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and go to tools, uh, let's go to anywhere. 
Uh, let's go to file. And I want to import because it says import, right? So let's see if we can import this. All right, next. And we can just do next, finish, and then we can make the modifications after the fact. So now it's going to import. You can see it's importing appliance. Once this is done importing, we will change my network into the InfoSec PAT network. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to settings on this DC1. And if we go to network, it's bridged just like they said. So we're going to do NAT network InfoSec PAT, and we should be good here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and power this on to make sure it works. So tomorrow, when I'm working on it, we don't have any errors. It's just there and ready to go up, all right? So that's all good, let this boot. So while that's booting, I'll open up my Kali and we'll do net discover again on the same network and make sure everything is working. So I think it probably pulled dot six. That's probably what the IP address is. Let's see. So it has a login. So let's do this. I don't know if it's running anything, but let's just try to open up a, see if HTTP is running on it. I have no idea if it is. Oh, it is. So it's running Drupal. Okay, so we're able to communicate with this box. So we got it set up. Wait till tomorrow and I will get this baby hacked. All right, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for viewing. If you have any questions, like I said in, I don't know what video, because it's getting late, just hit me up on Discord. That'll be a lot quicker. You know, reach out, join my community. And if you have any questions, maybe someone else can help you as well. So thank you so much and have an awesome day, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you're at. All right, thank you for viewing. Take care.